I am about to do 7 a.m. bar class, and then today we're going into town, which may be a bit questionable five days before Christmas, but we're doing it, and <laughs> pretty sure we'll be fine. But let's get this workout done, and then we can get ready for the day. You're so wonky. <laughs> I'm dressed and ready. So this morning I've got my last meeting of the year. I will be taking the hoodie off before I go into that. And then I want to run into another story. So I want to see if they've got any cute dresses. I would also like to see if they've got any black jumpers because I'm severely lacking. So that is kind of what I would like to do there and then get out before it gets too busy. But I mean, I don't think that like, you know, before midday, I think I'm going to be fine. But it's a bit warmer today. So I'm braving the blazer and hoodie combo instead of a big coat. I mean, it's an 11. I don't know if I'm being a bit brave. This is what I've ended up on. I've changed outfits a million and one times. But I'm ready. I'm ready to go into London. I feel festive. I'm also absolutely packing the hairbrush. I've also just thought I should probably put this on. Otherwise, I'm just never going to do it. So I'm going to have to do it under my jumper and under my <laughs> blazer. If you didn't watch yesterday's vlog, go and watch that and then you'll understand at the end of the vlog. I also can't stop thinking about dinner yesterday. It was so good. You know when you go somewhere and you just order so well like you don't over order you don't under order and that's how I feel about yesterday I feel like it was so good and I ate the perfect amount I feel like I'm making this way harder than it needs to be okay it's on I've just set myself a timer so I know when to take it off thankfully it's quite small so it fit in my bag but does my posture look any different to what it did a few minutes ago I don't know okay let's leave I don't want to be late my meeting is done it was really lovely a really lovely way to close off like the working year I mean obviously I'm not done but like in person kind of thing it was really nice so I'm now heading to Regent Street going into and other stories oh Canada Goose is here they've got a new pastels collection I might go and have a look because they've got a pink one it's really nice okay this is the first item I have seven to try look at this so I saw this it was in the front of the store a couple weeks ago and I was like I need to try so what do you think I think it creates a really nice shape I'm pretty sure this is a medium yeah it's medium but I just really like this I'm really fussy with cardigans so to find one that I really like the look of and the shape of is really cool I don't know you know that Zara one that I wear to death I feel like maybe this could replace that and this looks so much nicer so that's a potential okay maybe this is more like that cardigan so this is do you know those kate cardigans i feel like this is kind of giving that energy i really like this i think it's super flattering i just don't know what i'd wear it with oh but then again my white trousers i just find v-necks a bit difficult because i always wear t-shirts in the winter that go higher i guess something like lacy would be really cute but this is so soft i don't think it's as practical as the other one like i think i'd wear the other one more but i really like this and i think it's very flattering but although the only thing is because it's so fitted undone it doesn't look like slouchy or anything do you know what i mean it's a bit still quite long but it is nice i'm trying to tell myself i don't like it but i do like it so this is the first thing i picked up this is quite near the front of the store at the moment i picked it up and i was like this is lovely like i really like this and i just don't think i love it as much as the other things i picked up and yeah again i was thinking like with my white trousers but it's the V's a bit deep for me. I don't think this is a particularly, it's not unflattering, but I don't look at it and go, wow, that's a gorgeous piece of knitwear. Do you know what I mean? If I'm gonna buy a nice piece of knitwear, I'd like to look at it and be like, wow. So it's nice. And like, the, can you see the texture? But yeah, just not really what I was going for. I look like I'm vibrating because of all of this. Again, this is mohair and it's just, Mm -hmm. you know like i really wanted to like this i saw this on the hanger in under the stories here at stratford a few weeks not a few weeks ago maybe like a week ago and i was like oh i really want to try that but what is this and it just it looks old already and it's not even left the store such a shame because it's such a nice color it is very soft but yeah no and the final piece of knitwear i really like this i was hoping this would be like my other striped one but it's a bit different the only thing is i got this i sized up this is a large and they just it's a bit funny like i don't know where look where that's the seam but it doesn't sit on my shoulder so it makes the neck a bit weird but i really like it so i think i'm gonna have a fiddle around and see if i can get it to sit is it something it's supposed to, oh maybe it's supposed to sit more forwards is that right but then the neck gapes but i think that's oh maybe it's not that bad i just really like this and i think i would wear this a lot i mean we all know i wear like the same two three jumpers and they're all from here <laughs> so i actually think this could be really handy to have in my wardrobe i just don't want it to look ill-fitting though <laughs> I fear it does. I don't want to get a smaller size though because I like the length of it. But do you see this looks a bit weird? 
I don't know if I'm being a bit picky. What do you think? I really wanted to love this and I don't. I don't own a coat this color or this kind of pattern. I wouldn't say it's, yeah, it's just this texture and it's been on my list, but this is huge. Like, I love an oversized coat, don't get me wrong, but the sleeves are just so wide and it's just a, a little unnecessary. I really like an oversized coat, like my All Saints ones, but they still fit really well. This is just too big and there's like, the pockets are really low. So if I was cold, I'd have to kind of hug my body. It just doesn't feel practical, but it's a shame because I really like the color and the texture of it. It's just not really for me. But if you love an oversized coat where everything is oversized, including the sleeves and the shoulders, then check this one out because I mean I do think sometimes it can be hard to find a coat that is actually oversized so this is how it looks I'm just a bit sad that it's not for me because I really wanted to like this I'm in my car I came to try and sort the electric charging because they emailed me to tell me how to do it I still can't figure it out I'm supposed to use a certain fob but I don't know which fob and none of the fobs I have are working so I don't know if I don't have the right thing or I'm just doing it completely wrong so I've had to email back and ask I mean I don't think I was given anything else like, I'm pretty sure every fob that I have is here, and I've tried every fob. Oh, I just found some Santal. I'm gonna put this on. I went into M&S on my way back through Westfield and picked up some more sugar because I obviously, well, that's what I dropped the other night and smashed, and I therefore had no sugar. So I got the rest of that so I can then make the bump cake. I'm not gonna do it tonight. It's, what are we now? The 20th. I'm gonna do it on the 22nd and then take it home on the 23rd. And, or I could just do it at home. I don't know. No, I think I'm gonna do it on the 22nd but I do want to bake some things tonight so I have plenty but yeah I'm hoping I'm gonna get an email any minute telling me what to do or telling me what I'm doing wrong basically hello my friends it is about 3 p.m. so the light is kind of crazy I might move you actually I've just been saying goodbye to a lot of people because a lot of people are signing off for Christmas today actually which is crazy that it's that I don't even know how we're at that point but someone commented on my vlog it was an old vlog saying I think it was from like four years ago saying you look so much happier. I'll put the coin up here. And it really got me thinking. Uh, but I watched the old vlog and even compared, like, I don't think I'm unhappy right now. I don't think in these vlogs I'm unhappy. But if you watch my vlogs last year, like, the, the difference is ridiculous. And I don't know, it's just made me super thoughtful. Like, I really think no one prepares you for the reality of response, not responsibility, because, like, I've had responsibility since I, you know, I moved out at 17. I've been paying my own bills since I was 17. But the real stuff, the stuff you can't control, the thing Things that affect the people around you and you like emotionally, mentally, like the reality that you can't control people's health and things like that. I think that really starts to weigh heavy as you get older and realize those things. And I think, yeah, I definitely think that's what I went through. But I agree, I look so much happier in those old vlogs, but because I just feel like I wasn't living real life and I feel like I really hadn't been through much, really. And I feel like over the last few years, like I've been through a lot of stuff and I'm definitely out the other side now, but yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's learning to deal with those things. But go and watch my old vlogs. It's so funny. I'm so like carefree and la di da, and now I'm like, wow, I feel grown now in so many ways. <laughs> So let me show you what I ended up buying uh, and other stories. So I did get the cardigan. I think you'll agree with me that this is a great decision. I think I'm gonna wear this on Christmas day, like in the morning when I go down and open presents, if I have presents, if I've been good this year and I'm on the good list. I also picked up this cashmere hat. I have every other color that they do besides this one and they're the nicest ever. And then the other thing that I bought, yes, I'm wearing Christmas pajamas and yes, I'm wearing Crocs. We, we really just don't need to talk. It. The other jumper I actually put on immediately because I was freezing. I got this, the black one, and I'm very happy with my purchases. So I need to think about what I'm gonna wear this with. But update from the back brace, my muscles here are so sore. I wore it for the recommended amount of time and already I'm like, ouch. So it's doing something which we like, but I did not expect it to hurt. It's not bad hurt, it's like muscle hurt. <laughs> I'm the happiest person in the world right now. I've just realized I have potatoes. So you can probably hear that, that's very loud. I'm making myself some mashed potato. I have cheese in the fridge. I'm gonna do mash with cheese. I have eggs and I have sausages. I might have them in the party sausages. <gasps> I do! I could do toad in the hole. These don't actually take that long to cook at all. Um, do I do toad in the hole? But I feel like toad in the hole with meat replacement sausages isn't the same as toad in the hole with actual sausages. And I actually don't think I have gravy. I don't. 
So it's gonna be mashed potato with cheese, but that's still really exciting. I should probably set a timer for mashed potatoes. This would obviously be much nicer if there was gravy, but I don't have gravy. And yes, I do leave some of the skin in. I just really like how it tastes. Mm. The only thing with having my TV where it is, is that I can't see it when I'm in the kitchen. So I've just got my tablet up and I'm going to watch some YouTube whilst I bake some cookies. Well, cookie dough. I'm going to make some brown butter cookie dough and freeze it ready for Christmas. Basically, whenever I go around to my friends' houses or family's houses around Christmas, I like to take something and I want to get some things prepped ready for that. So that's what I'm going to start to do right now. I have so much chocolate in my house right now, so it's kind of perfect. Perfect. And these are like my favorite things ever to eat. So I'm gonna start by browning the butter. I'm so confused. I had a Cadbury Advent Calendar chocolate bar that was half eaten. It's now disappeared and I'm pretty sure I know who's eaten it, but that's what I was going to use. Thank goodness I have plenty of other chocolate, but I just spent the last like five minutes, not even five minutes, like a minute and a half, looking for it. And yeah, there's only one conclusion and that is that someone's eaten it, okay? The butter is sufficiently toasty. So I'm just gonna turn it off and let it cool a little bit whilst I chop the chocolate. Now I can't, can't find that bar. So we're using the other cabinet I've been having the bar because I have two. Guys, I still haven't bought any knives. Now I'm a big chocolate chopper. Like I'm not, I don't like to uh, use chocolate chips when I bake cookies because this melts and it's just the best thing. But I would prefer actually to have more dark chocolate. I literally, that's all I have. How do I not have more dark chocolate than that? I'm really not very prepared for this, am I? I mean, my family and friends don't even like dark chocolate anyway. I do. Mmm, okay, that cuts it. Mmm, you know what I do have? I have a bar of Tony's dark milk. I'm gonna use some Tony's as well. I also like to vary the size of the chunks. Just makes it more fun. Right, let me get the Tony's out. Oh yeah, perfect. I also like to do way more chocolate than I guess the recipe would call for for cookies. Because I feel like it's, you know, the best bit. I've actually never tried this chocolate, so I'm really being brave here. I'm trusting. Let me try a little. Mm. It's really good. So I've got my sugar in here and then I'm going to pour my butter in. Now, when browning butter, you obviously lose some weight. So I'm weighing it again just to make sure I get the right amount. Perfect. I'm gonna do my flour. I mean, I probably should have let the butter cool down a bit more. It may be slightly greasy now because of that, but it's fine. And then golden syrup, about that much. And I'm gonna put this in my KitchenAid. I'm really out of myself here. You'll see the chocolate stash, it's pretty significant. I'm gonna sprinkle a little salt and then we're going to add chocolate. And the little pieces will slightly melt in, but it's perfect. So this is how the dough's looking. I'm going to wrap it and put it in the fridge to refrigerate, <laughs> I guess, to get cold. I would love to know, what day do you wrap your Christmas presents? Because I am really tempted to start wrapping, but I feel like it's too soon because it's not, I don't know, maybe, maybe it's not too soon. Maybe I, I should have done it already. They're all under my bed, under the ottoman. And I'm like, when, when do I like get everything out? But maybe, maybe tomorrow night? So tomorrow I actually have a really fun day. I'm going finally to get my nails done. I'm getting a mani-pedi and I'm so excited to get pampered. And then I really want to go and have a look in some of the charity shops because the nail appointment is in Belgravia and they have some great charity shops. So thinking I'd like to do that. And then, yeah, I obviously have bits to tie up, but to be honest, a lot of people are out of office. So I'm absolutely taking advantage of that. And then, yeah, I think maybe I'll come back and start wrapping. And then the 22nd is actually Emma's birthday. So we're having a whole London day. That's gonna be a really fun day, actually. If you like London vlogs, that's gonna be a day you want to watch. So yeah, I've got a really lovely couple of days coming up. I am definitely ready for a break. I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna be doing like over Christmas and New Year. I've got things booked in between Christmas and New Year back in London with my friends. So that'll be really fun. And I'm trying to solidify my New Year's plans because I'm very lucky that I've got options, but I don't know which, which option I'm going to pick. I don't know, I feel like the big events, Christmas and New Year, 
years are always very much like very anticlimactic and I don't know why I don't know if it's because we build them up or because when we were children or especially for me when I was a child it was such a magical day that now I just can't ever recreate that I don't know the dough has been chilling for about an hour so let's let's try some I do think though I'm going to spend a few days at home over Christmas and I think I'm going to be really ready to come back here like it's finally feeling like my home and I just love pottering around and being able to do everything I want to do and I know I don't know I think there's a lot to be said for being in your own space so I don't know how long I'm going to stay at home over Christmas but I'm obviously going to be there for Christmas Day and Christmas Eve but we don't really do much for Boxing Day and then I think I don't even know what my family's plans are so I'm going to see maybe I'll head somewhere else oh no this is solid I'm trying to find a bit that's not chocolate mmm I'm sorry, this is the best cookie recipe in the world. Mm. Well, my friends, it is 8.47 and I'm gonna call it a night. I'm going to go and finally watch the first episode of Wednesday and go to bed because I am so tired. I got up at five this morning and was just awake, you know, when you have one of those days. So yeah, I'm very ready to go to bed and then I have an amazing day tomorrow. So I really hope you've enjoyed this vlog. I hope you've had a good day. If you haven't, we'll try again tomorrow and I'll see you bright and early in the morning. Good night.